This is Jose Moreno. In this video, I will show you how to verify whether your Azure design is following our recommended best practices. We have documented those recommended best practices from the Fast Track for Azure team in the GitHub repository you are seeing in screen. The original format where these recommendations are stored is JSON, but you can use this spreadsheet that is as well in the same repo to load them up and show them in a more consumable format. The best practices are in, uh, stored in different languages. In this case, I'm loading the landing zone best practices that cover a wide range of products in English. And as you can see, they are stored in, in rows where you can document whether you want to follow any given best practice, uh, whether you are not following that and you are not wanting to follow in that because it doesn't comply with your requirements or whether there's anything open that you would like to correct. For any recommendation in the checklist, we stored a set of additional information, such as, for example, links that contain um, more information about why those best practices are there. We even stored for some of these Azure Resource Graph queries that you can use to verify whether your resources are following them. And we will uh, add more to this later. The recommendations can be filtered according to their priority or according to their category or their well-architected framework pillar. As you can see here, I'm showing you the one for networking. We have plenty of them. And there are additional subcategories where you would uh, classify each of the recommendations. In the same repository, though, we have an, an additional section, the workbooks section that contains, well, Azure workbooks. These Azure workbooks will actually execute the Azure Resource Graph queries that we briefly saw earlier for you. You just need to copy the JSON from one of these workbooks that is stored there. There are for AKS, there's for the whole landing zone, and there's as well for networking. You only need to create a new workbook in, in your Azure subscription and paste the code. If you prefer, you can as well deploy them via ARM templates that are, the same, are in the same repository there. Once you have the workbook in your subscription, then those resource graph queries will start getting executed against your resources and you will start seeing whether your resources are compliant or not towards the recommendations that are in, in this checklist that have graph queries um, documented. What you can see here is that uh, in this case, the networking recommendations are structured according to the subcategories. Uh, you see some recommendations around hub and spoke, some, some around um, past services, some around segmentation. Um, the latest um, I have worked on are hybrid recommendations for Express Route, where uh, that are pretty interesting. Um, Express Route uh, is uh, one area where a lot of customers have some potential to save costs. And more specifically, by leveraging the SKU local of Express Route or making sure that you don't have the unlimited, unlimited plan, it's, it's going to potentially save you a lot of money. Um, additionally, to these Express Route checks, uh, there are others, for example, for uh, app delivery, including Azure Front Door, including uh, Application Gateway. Uh, there you go. This is uh, the app delivery. These are the app delivery ones I was talking about. And um, we have as well in the internet section some about Azure Firewall, which uh, if the previous ones for Express Route were more relevant for cost, these ones are more for security, where you can verify that your Azure Firewall is configured so that you get the full protection of this service. Um, there are more of these, uh, of course, uh, feel free to explore uh, this, the, the workbook. If you have many subscriptions, the workbook has as well some filters to make sure that you are only checking the resources that you're interested in. I hope this will be useful. Uh, thanks for watching.